I'm going to put a, uh, a little uh, bit in here showing a minivan being stopped by a baller that comes up out of the ground. And this, uh, this isn't my story. Uh, this is my step, uh, my brother Charlie's story. And I'll show you the clip and I'll come back to it. Back in the 80s, my brother Charlie uh, joined the army and was an MP in, in, in Germany. Now, I'm going to have to read this so I have it right. So, he, uh, uh, Charlie and his uh, partner are, work, are partners, are working the main gate at the base. The, um, somebody in charge, and here's exactly what my brother says, a dumbass thought he was God's gift to the military because he had a combat patch for his a, a vacation in Grenada. Now, I worked with a guy who was a infantry sergeant, and he was there, and he actually did kill Cubans. So, you know, for some people, it wasn't a vacation. Anyway, certainly not the Cubans. Anyway, um, this guy's working the front desk, and my brother is in the guard shack answering the phones. The dumbass calls on the direct line and says, get me the rear gate quick. It sounded important, so my brother had to use the drop line to call the rear shack, and they checked the, uh, the pedestrian IDs and stuff, and they're uh, more closer to the barrier. Well, he picks up the drop line, and the sergeant is working, the by-the-book sergeant. He picks up the line, and what my brother hears him say is, treadle barrier activation confirmed. My brother uh, thinks, oh shit, something's up and he hits the barrier button. And then he says to the sergeant, you wanted me to activate the barrier, right? And the sergeant screams, no, shit. Well, there was a car that wasn't really paying attention and bluntly drove right into, right in, right into the barrier, bending the car in two, and the two passengers were taken away in an ambulance. Well, in the investigation, the provost marshal asked the sergeant what the hell, and the provost marshal reminded the sergeant of proper policy. And now I've never been in the military, but from everybody I, I've talked to or read says, you know, it is, it, there is a procedure for everything. So the sergeant sounded like he didn't follow procedure. And then my, my, um, the, uh, the provost asked him, why would you answer the phone and ask travel, uh, treadle, Treadle barrier activation <laughs> confirmation. So this guy, he, he didn't lose any stripes. And I don't know exactly what happened to him. But um, when my brother was being interviewed by the provost marshal, he said, you know, my brother said that the, um, uh, that the, uh, 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 that the green light turns red about 15 seconds prior to the barrier actually rising up out of the ground. And it's a slight turn, and the car wasn't going very fast. So they weren't paying attention. But nevertheless, you and I, we the people who pay federal taxes, bought somebody a brand new car. So, you know, there must be just a million military stories about just the idiocy of being in, in the military. So it's not my story. It's my brother's story. But here's another story time with Yosef. This is your host, Joe. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day, and peace be with you.